Hey guys, Kathy Richards, RD, hopping on. So I had a client conversation recently and the client was saying, how long do I have to do this? So I wanted to hop on and talk about um, how we talk to ourselves and how to kind of move past like that frustration of like, am I always going to have to think about this? Am I always going to have to make this choice? So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm moving in, in a direction of more intuitive eating. Um, but with that, like I still work with clients that have been, you know, supported in weight loss programs and then I continue to support them. So this particular client was someone who actually did a, a program in the city that I live in and they had great success with that program. A big part of that was the accountability piece. So they know they're done their program. They did like the six month program and then six month follow up and they're kind of on their own. So they know they need accountability. So they've come back to me through the clinic where their doctor works to say like, I need this regular accountability, but how long do I have to every day make the choice? Like how long, like, is there going to be some point where it gets automatic and I'm just going to wake up and the eating's gonna be automatic, and then I'm not gonna have to focus so much. And the conversation that we had around that was, it's a choice, right? Like every day, how we're responding to, or listening to, or having self-awareness around our body and what our body wants, that's a choice, and that's also awareness that we have to have. So it's kind of like the intuitive eating, intuitive living, is that it's inviting us to take that time to really like slow down and connect with ourselves, right? Not just eat because it's time to eat or not just not eat because we're trying to restrict. It's time to sit with ourselves and say, oh, there's a huge storm happening. Um, I'm going to sit, you know, I'm going to check in. Where's my hunger? Where's my fullness? How long has it been since I've eaten? Hmm. And then, you know, you get into the mindset of well, what's going to make me feel fuller, right? And sometimes we eat because we're with other people and that's what they're eating. Um, we, you know, have food presented that we haven't seen for a while, so we'll go and pick that food. There's lots of different reasons that we would make the choices that we make and no choices are wrong around food, right? Food is just food. But what I worked on with this client was helping her realize that like it's a choice and when people are in tune with what their body needs, it's, it's not like we want to get to a point where we're not listening, but we're listening, we're respecting our body, and we're letting ourselves be human. That may mean different choices on different days, but it might mean showing up every day and, and having that awareness. So when we look at people... You know, there's been some people that have had long-term, like, 30-pound weight loss and maintained that for years. The studies show those people journal every day. We know long-term weight loss isn't a great goal to have. Tons of research around that. My Health at Every Size book is not in reach right now, so I won't hold it up. Um, but it's, it's that awareness. It's kind of starting that day in that mode, starting every day in the mode of, like, who do I need to be today? What does my body need? And checking in with yourself so it may not become automatic and I find a lot of us especially as moms we're automatically eating right and we're just kind of surviving and getting through and that's different phases that we'll go through but to have awareness of our body how we feel what foods satisfy us what foods we might crave that's a lifelong process and that's something that we might need to come back to every day and that doesn't make it wrong it's just part of that intuitive living in that um, intuitive eating approach. So I hope that that helped. I hope that made sense. I'm going to go because it's crazy raining and I need to close some windows, but I hope um, you guys have a great day.